Lightweight champion tonight at Light Welter, the Southern Area title at stake. Coming to the ring from Colchester, Lee Purdy. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest in the ring this evening is over 10 three million rounds and it's to decide the vacant Southern Area Light Welterweight Championship. Great games, boys. Good luck to you both. Well, this has the makings of a decent scrap. Second round, first round. In the auditorium, plenty of support for Lee Purdy. I'm sure on the other side of the Irish Sea, a lot of support for Peter McDonough, the Connemara kid. <laughs> McDonough, experienced, tough, throws plenty of punches. And this is a step up in class for Lee Purdy. And how well is he going to be able to accommodate that move? Area title fights are normally pretty exciting. This is proves as a as a springboard to that. Peter McDonough comes from a travelling family. Lee Purdy from Colchester, not too far away from here. But already. What you're seeing is McDonough landing really good straight overhand rights. Now that's where Purdy wants him to be. That's where he'll start to try and unload and show his punch power. McDonough always well conditioned. Good right hand. He got over the top there and he's looking for that one. But he's getting through pretty cleanly. Started at a really quick pace. Only the two stoppage victories in his 12 wins. But if he lands too many right hands like that, Purdy's going to start to feel the effects of them. Well, he's got off to a, a really quick start. McDonough. Can't miss him with that right hand at the moment, Duke. They're going to have to talk him through that, Lee Purdy. Tony Sims is going to have things to say between rounds. Another big right hand going in from McDonough. There must be half a dozen really good, clean shots have landed from McDonough in this opening round. Well, Purdy trying to tuck his chin down into his chest, but still McDonough gets through with the, with the right hand. Back comes Purdy with a nice little attack. What a good opening round. Talked about this one a little bit in the trade. People were saying, yeah, this is going to be a good matchup, and that's the way it's looking at this point. What do you mean? Lee Purdy with it to prove here tonight against a really durable, experienced campaigner. Easy, man. You go to the body first, not the head first. You go to the body, then the head, all right? Keep breathing. So they didn't go according to script, Duke. Absolutely not. Walked on to plenty of right hands. He put in there's another one to start this round. Be on the blind side, didn't uh, say anything to Purdy, but that one straight a little low. That's a better shot. That's what he needs. And McDonough feels the weight of Purdy's punches for the first time. Really warming up here in the second round. McDonough having to dig a little bit deep there. Suck it up. Good right hand from McDonough. Well, there's your answer. Took the shot and comes straight back at Purdy. He can only fight M1 to his mind. As soon as you've got near him, he can't fight. Just start on the Keep their minds up as well. So impressively in the opening round. But Lee Purdy here, the undefeated prospect from Colchester, just starting to work his way into the fight more in the second round. And Purdy's corner was saying to him, he's not got a lot more than just the one-two. Accurate or optimistic? McDonough landing with a lot of headshots. Those gloves being taken on that high-held guard of Purdy, and that's a nice sweet little counter. He just stopped. McDonough clearly happier at fighting at range than he is when he gets in close. Well, there's a lot of leather being traded by both boxers. Not kidding. See more punches, less punches than this sometimes in five or six rounds that have been landed already in this fight. Up. 
Curtis just trying to up the ante, up his work rate, get closer, get the punches working. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a good right hand from McDonough. That's a well-timed right hand. Let's go. You're jamming this kid's head off. Stay with him on the side. Don't get lazy on the inside. You need to time be a bit smart. Peter McDonough being told by Ash Sharma, his trainer, you've got to work more off the so jab. So out around four. Purdy, he's taken plenty of those right hands. Doesn't appear to have been seriously affected by them so far. There's another one right on cue. He can't simply keep taking right hands like that. The cumulative effect will do damage the longer the fight goes. He's got to start moving his head. He's got to up his work rate. Purdy just one pace behind in this round already. And taking a lot of headshots. Good right hand again from McDonough. A repetitive observation, but nonetheless an accurate one. Three, three, four, five shot. Look, when you back him up, he ain't playing that thing, right? Let your hands go and then climb over and get a breather. You get one chance here. You let Libby know when you're inside. Yeah? This is Lee Purdy's corner, and I tell you, they are sounding a little bit worried with the way things so are going. Out around His five. face is reddening and marking up, no surprise, the number of headshots which were connected from Peter McDonough. And at the moment, Purdy, who tends to come in in pretty straight lines, is being hit by more leather than Peter McDonough is. Because McDonough is into a little bit of a rhythm and also you know if mcdonald's if he can maintain the pace and it doesn't drop purdy then gonna have to claw back the deficit he's gonna have to claw back these rounds if he doesn't get a knockdown or or a knockout it's going to become increasingly more difficult for him well if the referee's scoring it the same as you do and i think it's fairly reasonable to suppose that you've got it right then he's already a couple of rounds adrift He's got to come on strong. Maybe he realises that. There's an air of urgency, but also an air of desperation about some of his work. Well, Purdy's trying to grind McDonough down. Stop him from moving around, stop him from moving left and right. Taking the fight straight to him. <laughs> Another well-contested round. Crowd enjoying this one. When you're there, you oh, win you'll it. You'll get easy. your second win there. Watch, watch this. Yeah. You'll get your second win there. This is where I know it. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get your second win there. You watch. You start Don't blowing. You'll get stand off up. There's Ash Sharma with Peter McDonough. Pause for ten seconds. And you've now got McDonough well ahead, Duke. Well, also, you know, you've got Purdy sitting in his corner, Seconds out talking himself into six. the fight, telling himself, willing himself, this is where I get my second win. I can tell you, I've been there before myself. The tide isn't quite going your way. You talk yourself, you're trying to get yourself into the fight from a mental perspective, getting your head on the game, on the fight. Five rounds gone now. Lee Purdy, the undefeated young prospect from Essex, has got a real fight on his hands tonight. He must be feeling the pace. Both boxers must be feeling the pace. <laughs> Grueling fight. Purdy perhaps having his best round for a little while. Well, he's needed this, Purdy. He's needed the, the pace drop, oh, and walked straight onto the right hand. Commentator's curse, just when he looked like he was coming back into the fight, stopped the right hand beautifully. But even so, this is Purdy's best round for some time.